Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to take a time to introduce you to our Loring S15. This is the roaster that we've been using for a little bit more than a year now, and it has been producing some amazing coffees. We used to work on this guy over here, which is a Dietrich roaster. It's a drum roaster where the drum rotates and the paddles are on the inside of the drum, moving the coffee around. Uh, on the Loring, what happens is that the drum is actually not moving and the paddles move inside the drum, moving the coffee almost like that mixer you might have at home. So this roaster works on hot air, uh, whereas the Dietrich is a flame underneath the drum. The Loring actually has the flame in what we call the cyclone over here that gets over 1000 degrees. It circulates hot air through the drum and then what we're really manipulating is the fan speed to effectively adjust the temperature inside the drum and how we uh, roast the coffee. So one of the great things about the Loring that we really love is the fact that it's extremely consistent. Once we set a profile, we can really nail it pretty much every single time. It's also not affected by sort of the atmospherics, so it roasts very consistently in that way. The other thing that's great about it is that we're able to really manipulate the roast profile pretty easily um, because it's a, a stainless steel drum. Uh, it doesn't retain a lot of heat, and so you can really uh, move things around pretty well. I kind of uh, said that my old Dietrich was sort of like my sledgehammer. This is more like a very fine chisel. You can really manipulate the profile really well to uh, suit the coffee, coffee that you're roasting. And so that's some of the great things about this roaster that I really love. I'm going to take you on a quick tour around it, just point out the basics. So this is the front of our roaster. Over here you can see we have a control panel. Uh, we use a program called Cropster over here that tracks our our roasts and here is the cyclone I talked about but essentially inside there is the flame and that flame is superheating the air that goes up here and then circulates through the roaster front and back or back and front sorry and then um, it's also very environmentally friendly which is another great reason why we chose this roaster one of the important things about this Loring is that it cools off the coffee really fast. Within, I think, three to four minutes, this coffee is pretty much cool to the touch, and uh, that's what you want. You don't want it to take a long time to cool down your coffee, because that means residual cooking, and that could mean the difference between an over-roasted coffee um, or a perfectly well-roasted coffee. Uh, we've got some green coffee in here. This is our feathering cap, which is our primary espresso blend. There it goes, and it's into the roaster now, roasting around, and then what happens is the control will pick up and we'll start to get the roast curve, as you can see there, and it'll start to follow that roast curve throughout the entire roast until it's absolutely done. And this is an automated feature we use on some of our coffees. Um, and uh, it works out really, really well because it's extraordinarily accurate. This is the roaster that we love to use and uh, we're just so happy to have it. And have a great day, guys. Thank you so much for watching.